Hey guys, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to show you the latest updated version of the Turbox. This is the Turbox Elite. If you haven't seen my review of the original Turbox, uh, then definitely check it out if you want to see it in action. Uh, I actually do still have it here and I've been using it uh, ever since I did get it. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, right away the big difference you could say is the fact that the original one just came in black the new one actually comes in three different uh, colors so there's black white and then there's the translucent it's kind of a kind of a grayish kind of a semi-transparent uh, you know material now even though these two look very similar to each other uh, outside of the color difference uh, there's actually a huge difference in, in some of the new features that you get with the new updated Turbox. Now, what is a Turbox? For those of you guys who've never seen the original review, uh, basically it's a, a keyboard shortcut, sort of a control surface. So it uh, calls up different keyboard shortcuts and it makes your life a lot easier when you're pretty much working and doing anything on the computer. Like I've started using this for video editing, but then very quickly uh, I adapted this so I could use it with my uh, digital painting applications, photo retouching, uh, and then even like just pr productivity, you know, for example, checking email, you know, doing different things online, uh, accounting, things like that. It really uh, it basically speeds up your workflow, especially the, the new version of the software. Now there's three very big changes uh, that the new version has over the last one. And uh, the first one I would say is the fact that it's wireless now. So it uses Bluetooth, uh, the latest Bluetooth uh, connectivity so you can connect to your laptop, your desktop or you know, other device. Uh, and not only that, but it has dual Bluetooth, meaning you can actually have it uh, already paired to two different devices and connected. And literally all you would do is here in the back, you have a little button you press. And by pressing this button, you can actually switch uh, to which Bluetooth basically, you know, the channel you're on. So if you tap it once, you'll see the little orange light. That's one of the channels and the other one is a green light. Aside from the Bluetooth pairing button and the on-off switch, you also have a little door here that holds the two AA batteries uh, that will power this unit for up to two months. Now from the front, you'll actually notice that both of the, both the old version and the new versions are uh, almost identical. Uh, they, they have the exact same button layout, which is great. And actually one of the reasons why I loved using the original Turbox is because of its uh, very simple yet very practical layout. What I mean by that is that you'll notice you have uh, different dials. So you have this dial here, another one nap like this. You have a little scroll wheel, uh, and then you have you know several buttons. But the, you'll notice that all of these are uh, basically either have different shapes or different textures on them, and that's the reason why I think this is the best control surface that I've ever used. Because uh, many other control surfaces, there there's a lot of similar buttons, so. I would get confused when I was, for example, trying to work and I'm, let's say, looking at my laptop or, you know, my monitor and, and I'm basically trying to figure out which button I'm pressing. It was very easy to get confused and a lot of times I would end up having to take my eyes off the screen, look at the surface, figure out, oh, okay, that's the button. And in the end, that actually slowed me down. Whereas with this thing, uh, you pretty much like within just a few minutes of using it, yeah, you'll get so used to it that it just becomes muscle memory because your fingers, you, you know, just to the touch, every button feels drastically different. And so with this thing, I very quickly adapted to the point where I did not even have to glance at the, at the control surface. It was sort of there as an extension of my hand, you could kind of say. And I would just look at the screen and just press the buttons and, you know, adjust the dials. Now, don't worry, if you don't want to use Bluetooth to connect the new Turbox to your computer, you still have the USB-C connection here, so you can, you know, plug in the cable that they give you. And once you plug that in there, you'll be connected directly to the computer that way. And you can still use it pretty much the same way as you would use the, the original one. Now, there is another huge update with the new Turbox, and that's the, the sort of a tactile function that they added. Meaning it has like this little sort of a force feedback almost a mechanism inside that uh, basically what it does is it creates little vibrations that you can feel throughout the whole device uh, and you can e even hear it as you, for example, rotating the dials. You hear those clicks, the same thing here with the scroll wheel or for example, this knob. Not only that, but these are actually customizable. So you can make it, for example, so it's less responsive, more responsive also, so it's louder or basically stronger. The, 
the vibration. So you can adjust that all in the software, which is pretty easy. So for example, let me put this down here. And you'll notice here, uh, the software is very similar to, for example, if you were using the previous version to the, the previous one, very easy, uh, allows you to customize everything. But you see right now I'm rotating the, the dial here and you see it shows me which dial I'm rotating. If I rotate the other one, you see it switches. Same thing with the scroll wheel. And uh, for example, now I can go, let's see here in the scroll wheel, and I can turn off, for example, the vibrations. So you see now I can rotate and you don't hear anything. And then when I turn it back on, you hear it. Now, for example, just pay attention, for example, if I go uh, move it, for example, one time here, it goes to three, I think it goes three times to clicking. Well, you can actually adjust basically how sensitive or how many stops it has in there. So for example, if I put it in the highest settings, you see it has the most sort of these little stops there, then you're gonna hear it a lot more. Uh, now I can, for example, turn it down. So now you're one and only two basically clicks for uh, basically the, the rotation here of the scroll wheel and of course you can also just turn it off completely so it's it's kind of nice that now you can adjust those things in that tactile feel uh, to depending how you like to work for example I know for me when I'm working in DaVinci Resolve and I'm editing with this uh, I do like this scroll wheel to be basically not as sensitive and not have as many stops because I, I set this up to basically when I scroll up it plays forward my timeline scroll down plays backwards, but when I do two clicks, it plays at double the speed. So I don't wanna have it to, to be too sensitive or I have to be like very careful, you know, how much of the, I, I'm rotating the scroll wheel. So this way it's kinda nice that you can adjust that sensitivity in the software. Um, so that's the next big thing I would say, is the fact that you have that tactile, uh, you know, feeling in, in, the, in the surface now. Uh, and then the third really big upgrade is, like I said, the software. So you see, you have all those, you know, functionalities that you can adjust and all that stuff, you know, decide, let's see what each button does and all that stuff. But you'll notice there's another big improvement in here and that's macros. So macros, for those of you who don't know what that is, is basically you can assign a sequence of clicks or, you know, basically keyboard shortcuts or mouse clicks even uh, to your, uh, to your, any of these buttons here on the tour box. Uh, so for example, let's say you're working in, uh, let's say Photoshop and you have a layer and you want to be able to clear that layer. You'll know that right now you have to like go select all and then delete and then, you know, let's say delete the layer if you want it or let's say leave the layer in that way. Well, now you can avoid those extra, uh, basically, operations on the keyboard and with you can basically set it up to be one of these buttons and all you do is you just click that button and it does a whole sequence of things for you. I know for me, for example, I, I actually customized this so in the morning when I'm kind of starting my workday and I want to, I have a, sort of a list of websites that I want to visit, uh, instead of having to go now through my browser and kind of like setting up all the different tabs and going to different websites, I basically just set up different macro buttons and just click one button and it starts up all of these sites for me. And this way I can sort of get to work right away, check my emails, you know, check all my messages on the social media, things like that. And, and just basically get through uh, sort of those initial things that I do every morning. And so that's kind of what's, what's nice about uh, this new macro function that you have. Uh, within the new tour box. And now another, if you could see a little change just with the physical design of this is, uh, is actually the fact that, uh, you notice again, they look very similar, but the new one basically has these two knobs, right up here has a knob and a scroll wheel, just like the old one. But you see the old one, that's all you could do with these two is just rotate them. Well, now they added a functionality where now you can rotate the, the for example, the knob and you can also click it. So you can click it, so that's an extra button. The same thing with the scroll, you can rotate it and then click it. So for example, in DaVinci Resolve, I adjust this. So for example, when I rotate it, it zooms in or out on my timeline. But let's say if I wanna just kind of see everything, then I set it so that I click down and it will just basically show me the whole timeline. Now, if you wanna see uh, just how well this actually works and how it can speed up your workflow, then uh, you definitely check out my original review of the Turbox. Where I kind of show you, you know, me working with it, or even better, go to their Kickstarter campaign, which, by the way, is ending in a few days. Uh, so definitely don't delay if you want to get those uh, early pre-order discounts, which they they offer right now. So get, you know, get on it, order it, uh, and 
I can guarantee you, you're gonna love using it. Pretty much doesn't matter what software you use. As long as you're working on a computer, um, you're gonna speed up your workflow. All right, anyways, that's it for this video about the new Turbox. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, again, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, don't forget to head on to my website at tomantosfilms.com and subscribe to my newsletter so you're notified of any future uh, gear reviews, filmmaking tutorials, or just news in general. And my name is Tom Antos once again, and I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Bye.